What's good YouTube? I want to talk today about an issue that's really drilling a hole into me. I was going to save this for while I was gone at Disney, but I just can't hold it back anymore. And that's why don't we have a freaking universal card pool? At first I was like, this doesn't affect me. I, I don't care too much. But as I gain more friends from Europe, from Australia, from Mexico, and I just see their deck list, wonder why they don't play something, then I'm told, we can't play it. What do you mean you can't play it? Well, it's not released over here. It was a jump promo. It was a magazine promo. We should have a universal card pool as the TCG. It's already bad enough when we can't play cards that the OCG, like the OCG has for years. But as a TCG, as a universal place of a card pool, we should all have access to these cards. And just because it's a magazine promo, it's restricted to the USA territory. Link Kribo's up for that. And Link Kribo's a really cool, fun card that could see tops. Definitely regional level tops. It's an amazing card. And you're telling me that a lot of my friends are about to not get to play with it. Unless they're in, like playing on some online simulator, which Konami already hates. Or they're coming over to our territories you're you're basically promoting people to not care if they're playing a certain deck to go o over to other territories this is the perfect example of that the hoban clan the hoban clan went down to mexico and learned that they couldn't use crab king why was this important it was pretty much the only towers out <laughs> so <laughs> to their surprise all the decks they brought since they didn't plan on playing Klee. We're kind of just useless, and they most of them got wiped. I think Levert's the only one who ended up in the top cut, and he fizzled out early as well. Klee just dominated that event, if I recall. And why? You, you couldn't play Crab King at all. You had no outs to towers in a lot of the decks. And you were supposed to have one just straight up in your extra deck. Already, I can just imagine that format of not being able to have an out to towers for a long time. Like, you had to work so extra hard for it. You don't just have it there in your extra deck. And speaking of towers outs, I can't imagine a world where I didn't have Utopia Lightning for some of the formats that he existed for us and not for them. It's just a real shame that the the pool of cards are actually really good in order to, I guess, sell these magazines. But you should definitely offer it to the other territories. You should give them the chance. They will buy it too. I know there's less players. I know it won't sell as well. But there should be some kind of offer for them to be able to play cards like these that are so important to dealing with the problems in our game and making formats less degenerate. Yes, Lightning makes the formats less degenerate. He is a answer. He is a threat. He is a constant thing from the extra deck that's easy to deal with outside of his attack. Here's a perfect example. Absolute Zero was given to all territories somehow. The French actually seemed to have them a week early. They were coming over to the US. And why is that? Why, why was this okay as a magazine promo to go to all territories? What happened to where they could do that? Why isn't this a thing for all of them? I want it to be a thing for all of them. But you know where they got screwed? Uh, here, here's your hero deck, but you don't get to play or have access to Elemental Hero the Shining. Really? Really? So, it, it's okay to shove out Zero. Uh, it's a YG04. It's a, it's a magazine promo, but the Shining? We, we can't give it to them. It just doesn't make sense that such a good card pool continuously gets put and kept out of the hands of entire nations. Entire, just everywhere but the US. And I guess Canada. Uh, I think Canada gets access to these. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Actually, tell me in the comment section down below. I've never thought about that, going to Canadian YCS and potentially not getting to play these. For some reason, Mexico, uh, you know, doesn't have access to a few of these. The One of the biggest ones is TG Hyper Librarian. Uh, we had our Nationals, where this was one of the biggest cards. People rushed to get them. They were spending 50 60 to make sure they got them in time. And Europe just didn't have it at all. Talk about a completely different event for the biggest event of the year between the nations. It, it just doesn't make sense. Another huge card, Shockmaster. You can't just keep 
putting these cards in. Well, I guess you can if you're the company, but looking at the rest of the territories, they're just going to take it over and over and not speak up. And I, I really haven't seen many tubers speak up on this. I guess step up and, and try to talk some sense into them because... We're the TCG, we should be united, we should have the same card pool, but a card like Shockmaster, uh, I guess you could even argue, oh, well, the game's better without him, but come on, like, we had our time with him and they barely got any time, right? And, and then we talk about tech cards. Like, I don't even like Lance a lot, but I've seen it in a lot of top cut decks. I've seen a lot of people decide to use him and you should have access to that tech choice you should have access to it at all times and they did it for some time one of the one of the current ones a very 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 expensive one is apprentice illusion magician you know the casual dark magician players are gonna have to wait for the special edition and with how expensive it is maybe that's fine but people could have had a chance to play with it had a chance for one of the ultimate casual cards that uh is a hand trap that does do things for the deck and they just don't have access to it imagine if hope harbinger had been one of these cards it very well could have been it's one of those very unique cards that could have just been slid over in there imagine the difference in blue eyes decks if that had happened and and going back into the past how about these two that didn't pop up over there for about a year they didn't have dandelion or red eyes darkness metal dragon for about a year after their release and yes they had formats where both of these were relevant for europe it's still just two of the best ever jump promos released that they couldn't play with for a year. Another example is Tzolkin. Like, you're seriously choking this card pool out so hard. So hard and just taking away some of the best cards in the game because you put the best cards in the game to sell these magazines. It's already bad enough that we don't have a united ruling system, that things like Call of the Haunted and Cosmo Dark Destroyer work differently here than there, that you can plan different decks and, and you could test for hours and hours and go over somewhere and not even know that. You you just have no clue that different territories have different rulings. But to, to have to think about the card pool on top of it, you're literally demoting travel. You're, de you're literally saying... No, we, we want you to come over here if you want to play these cards. We don't want you to go out and explore your horizons. We don't want you to go over and, and think about playing in Europe. Uh, because if you do, you know, it, it might be different, you know. You, you might not be able to play what you want to play that you can play here. And I think from the outside looking in, that, that sucks. Uh, you know, if you had to go all the way from Europe to an American event to play the deck that you wanted to play, that's insanity. I don't like it, I have a lot of friends that don't like it, and I'm really tired of watching this happen to everybody. And again, coming to the forefront of this conversation is one of the cards that's up for grabs. Link Karibo definitely does not need to be anywhere near the jump scene, yet it's probably going to be in there. And if we don't nominate it as a jump promo, we might not get to see it for a very, very, very long time. It's a really cool Link monster, and if we don't see it as a jump promo, we not get, might not get to play it till it's irrelevant, but if we win it as a jump promo, Europe might not see it until it's irrelevant. And that's a problem for me. That's a problem for a lot of my friends. I just don't like how it works. I don't like how it is. It's been this way for a very long time, and it's about time we speak up about it and create some real change in this game. It's about time we figure a way to sell magazines and get cards like Absolute Zero was. Like, Absolute Zero came to the front and was there. Why can't this be a thing for everybody? Why, why is this card? Why is Absolute Zero special? What made this card special? It was a very good card. It was really awesome to see everyone get it at once. Why can't this be the norm? Why can't this be the thing that we constantly do for Europe? Thanks for watching. I don't rant too often. I know this is an issue that might not affect a lot of my viewer base, but I've looked at my statistics and I would say at least 25% are from the other territories and overseas that are probably affected by this. Do let me know uh, about the Canadian thing. I, I think Canada gets access to these two, so I think this like doesn't affect Canada and the US, but uh, overall, I, I really just don't like how this is working. 
And I hope that in the future, the TCG stands united on the fronts of at least their card pools. I can understand rulings because every single event can be different. Every different head judge can rule something a different way, which happens. You know, we, we can have the 150th have lose one turn be the strongest card ever. But uh, on, on the front of our card pool... It really should be the same for everybody. There's no excuse for this. And there's even examples from the past that we can unite them and that it can sell well over there.